What's up guys, it's Sierra and welcome back to the Money Monday series. It is episode 7 of the series and we are going to be talking about passive income. This is such a big thing going into 2021 because I want us all to succeed. We've been talking about it for a few episodes now and I want to give you guys some extra tips into making your income be passive instead of active. Passive income, let's get into a little bit more of an understanding, is income in which one does not actively work. So what I mean is people misconstrue this idea when they're thinking that you don't have to do anything and you get something big out of it. So it's not getting something for nothing. You do have to put in a lot of work up front to make sure that your income is working for you while you sleep, while you go on vacation and it's just sitting there and you're gaining so much money as you go on and this is a lot of what big investors do, a lot of people that are putting in the work and putting in the research to make the income work for themselves. So I'm gonna give you guys three tips on ways that you can make a passive income in this year so we can all grow together. So the first one that I have for you guys is selling informative products. So what I mean by this is maybe that you're selling a course, maybe you're selling a fitness program, maybe you're selling um, research on how to invest in stocks, just little things like that that you're promoting on your social media, um, word of mouth, if you're networking with other people, and if they see that your product or your course is doing well and they see exponential growth in whatever you're promoting, they're gonna buy your course. They're gonna wanna learn more. If you're an expert at something, people wanna learn because they wanna do what you're doing. So this works really great in fitness, and I mean, I'm a living proof, proof of that, um, if you see a trainer that has all of these results on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you see their result pictures, you're going to want to work with that trainer, right? So you're going to go and buy the course that they have, the meal plan that they have, and all of this and that. And that's how you make passive income. Because if it's something that they can do at the comfort of their own homes, it's way a, it's a much bigger plus for you because they don't have to go anywhere. Learning these courses and building these courses for yourself is a great way to have passive income. You can also, like I said, sell courses. Um, this is a big one, especially in social media right now. Influencing programs. People want to be an influencer. People want to make money on Instagram. People want to be able to promote brands and make money, get free stuff. This is a huge thing right now in social media. So people are selling a lot of those courses to girls and guys out there that are promoting different brands and then that's how they make money as well. It's a win-win for them as well because they're already on social media as it is. Why not make money off of it? So the second passive income tip that I have for you guys is rental income. If you have money to invest in a rental property, this is such a good way to make a passive income. Your money is literally working for yourself. You're paying off your house in the long run and you're getting a lot of profit as you go along. So say, let me give you a scenario. If you want to make $10,000 profit from a rental income property, right? And you know that the mortgage for that property is $2,000. And then let's say you have $3,000 in property taxes and other expenses to cover the house. You're gonna want to put on the market that that property is gonna rent for $3,133, right? And then that will get you that $10,000 profit for the entire year. It's an amazing way to make money and your money's working for yourself. You don't have any affiliation with it other than you owning the home, but you have to pay attention also to who is renting your home because you don't want any damages, you don't want any destruction to your home where you're gonna have to pay out of pocket for a lot of those things. So in the midst of the pandemic and Miss Rona, we cannot, we cannot rent right now. Um, it's really a high risk because a lot of those people that can't pay their rent are not required to leave. You can't let them go and you as a homeowner are responsible for making sure the mortgage gets paid and they, you can't really do anything about it. It's a law because we're in the pandemic. So this is very high risk right now. So I suggest waiting until after the pandemic to invest in a rental property. And that's just what I'm gonna say on that. So since we are straying away from rental income properties at the moment, 
we can talk about Airbnb. Airbnb is a great way to make passive income. This is a way that you can list your home or a room in your home for a set price and people can stay in your home and that's how you would make the money, right? So the only high risk with this um, situation is that you want to make sure that you are looking over reviews for people that are staying in your home because again, we don't want anything damaged. We don't want to have to deal with people that we can't trust. We just don't want any of the negative situations to happen. So it's very important that you stay on top of that as well. But it is a really good way to make a passive income and have it generating month by month so that you can honestly have your mortgage paid for and maybe a little bit more wiggle room and extra profit. This is a great, great, great way. And since it's not a set rate, you can make more money than other months or you can make less money than other months, but you'll still have a great way to have that in between. So I definitely suggest Airbnb. Make sure you go check it out. It's a simple app. It takes you through everything to set it up. You just list everything and go through and set your price. You can set your boundaries and it's awesome. So the third passive income tip I have for you guys is affiliate marketing. This is such a great way to make money, especially on social media. If you are on social media all the time, you might as well just do this because you're on it anyways. Might as well make money, like I said before. Um, but a lot of people on social media are doing this at the moment. If you have an Amazon account, you can sign up to become an affiliate marketer. And it's very easy, very simple, and you get approved like that. It's not anything that you have to wait on and what you do is if there's products that you like from Amazon or you think that people will really enjoy them and purchase them you will put it on your Amazon shop so this way you can promote the product on any social media so YouTube Instagram Facebook however you want to do it you promote this product you have your own affiliate link and then people will go to that link once they purchase the product through that link, you will get a certain percentage of every single purchase. So just say, if people are watching your video a million times, if people are viewing your stories thousands of times and they go to that link, your money's making itself work for itself overnight while you're sleeping. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. If they go through that link, you're making the profit and the money off of it. And this is a lot what I was talking about before um, in previous episodes where people are going to, you know, Alibaba and like AliExpress and they're finding a certain product for less than what they're purchasing it for and they're selling it at a greater amount to make that profit. That's another way, but I've already explained that in um, previous episodes. So I just wanted to bring this one up as well. Affiliate marketing is such a great thing to get into and you get to try new products and promote new products to different people and you just go from there. So these are the three passive income tips that I've given you guys and I hope you guys like them. Please comment down below if you have any other suggestions for other people as well, especially for me. I'm learning as I grow as well. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to see you guys in the next Money Monday series video.